Hi guys, so here we are, 2023, and this is my first video of this year, which I said would not be a Pokemon Go video at the start of the year. Yeah, we're, we're here now, it's, it's happening, so I'm sorry, I've had a really, really rough start to the year, uh, so that's why this video is really late. From the get-go, I had car issues. I exploded a tire on the car so that was a good start very expensive start and then just at the back of this community day i am getting the flu for like a week and a half so i'm pretty sure you didn't need a video of me at the time sniffing snorting and oh guys that's me chris i'm back again you don't need it so that's partly why it's late that and uh i'm just trying to get used to different things um, I mean, you'll notice, if you've watched my videos before, normally I'm not in them. So this is a big change. I'm doing a lot of changes this year for this. Um, but it's covering the community day. So you'll see on the left, uh, on the right, left, right, right. Uh, there's the shiny, good start. You'll see on the right, <laughs> um, the community day from basically start to finish. And like my normal videos, I've shortened the catches and I've shortened the tasks and I've given you the full research story, uh, which is what I normally do. So you're still, you're still getting that, but I'm just talking over, I'm just talking over the top of it, you know. So uh, we'll just sort of discuss things if it pops up on the screen. And I suppose now is my best chance to kind of talk you through all the different stuff I'm wanting to do this year. Because uh, it certainly isn't just Pokemon Go. But we're on Pokemon Go right now, so let's focus on that. Um, so we'll start with the changes. I mean, if you've watched any of my videos before, the main thing about them was they were all non-commentary. That has kind of come to a change because I got a bit of feedback last year about my videos all starting out with a big paragraph of text. They would tell you how the day went, what's involved, what's involved in my video. And to be honest, it's far too much reading for the start of a video when I could just talk you through it. I mean, uh, I should I did see that kind of coming, but there was various reasons I never used to do commentary or show me in the videos. Um, I'm not an overexcited kid for one, you know, so I don't get all giddy about this kind of stuff. Uh, I just enjoy the big. I just enjoy the game, and I enjoy making content in the form of videos. So, you know, that's just what it is. But as far as commentary goes, I never really had much to say. Um, I suppose a bit of background is I only really started getting back into this game about March last year, when basically when I started seeing Gemma up there, started seeing her. Uh, romantically we'll say um we the issue was that uh, I, i'm pretty much a playstation player she's an xbox player so we never really found a game that we could like join up with but on pokemon go if i went to see her or if she came down to see me if we'd been catching stuff during our time apart we could trade back and forward when we met or we could go out together and do stuff you know so it was like a, a couple bonding experience. Mm, yes, make it sound better than it is. <laughs> it's like a, it's, that's basically what it was all about: finding a game that we could both play. So that's when we really started hitting it. But then when we were in Inverness, we met in with the Inverness Instinct crowd, who are. A, Nice little bunch. <laughs> there must be what twelve years. I, I don't know. I haven't count. I've not done a head count, and I've not met you all yet. But the ones we did meet are awesome. So put that feather in your cap, um, and hopefully we'll get to meet up with you at some point this year for maybe an Inverness day or two. We'll see. Um, most of the stuff we do is in the Elgin area in Scotland, mainly because it's a, it's, the sign says city, it's a town. It's not big enough to be a city, as far as I'm concerned. There'll be someone that wants to argue, go ahead, argue in the corner by yourself. But 
it's got a lot of stops, good populated areas when the spawns start coming up and the gyms are quite close to one another so you can raid and raid and raid. Especially if you've got a small team with you, it's brilliant. And to be honest, normally in these videos, if I do any raids, I'll mention just about every player I've ever raided with and a big thank you thing. I'll still be doing that. Only if you've done a few more raids, like you're, like, say you've raided about five times with me in the in a week or something. If you're quite a prominent player, I'll give you a call out at the end of the video. It only seems fair. Um, also, during the Johto tour last year, uh, we this is it. We became a bit more social with the game during the Johto tour because we could recognise more people playing it just based on hand movements and stuff when they were playing on their phones and we ended up meeting Agent Smith, Chris the Duke, Cabra Caveman, I'm naming names here, maybe you don't know them, maybe you do, if you're from the local area you probably met them, all top people, great stuff, some of them have got kids, they're playing it, it's interesting i met people who i never even dreamed would ever play it i mean looking at me most people probably would never have guessed i would still be playing this in my late early 30s um <laughs> but it's a game it's a game at the end of the day a game to enjoy and it is demographically for people in their 20s upwards we don't really see many kids play it but you know it's interesting to see who in the local area was actually playing this game um, and to meet up with them in person and see how everybody talks is interesting, really interesting how things kind of pan out. Um, another thing I was going to say is I'm basically keeping the same formula as my old videos. I'm going to try and keep that. Uh, sort of balance of the whole community day, the raids, if I got a legendary, like in this case, in Chespin day, I actually got a hundo, so hey, and of course I got a shiny of all three, Chespin, can't remember what his middle name was, but Ches not, and you'll see the evolutions coming up. Another thing we wanted to do was add in a scoreboard. Mainly because me and Gemma have this little competition going where whoever gets the most shinies wins. Whoever loses has to buy the takeaway at the end of the day. There you go. So it's just a bit of fun to keep us playing. But then we later thought it'd be interesting to see how many you catch in a day as well. Not just how many shinies you get, but how many normal ones. Basing... Our takeaway competition is based on how many shinies you get by the end of the day. We'll leave it at that. Yeah? The normal catch rate is just for an experiment. Maybe at the end of the year we'll do something with the total figures to see who caught the most over the whole year. If you're interested in that, then by all means, comment and let me know if you think it's a good idea. Um, but you're about to see the evolutions of the two. I'll disappear during this. And to be fair, I don't know if you think the shiny version looks better than the normal version all that much. Because by the time he's done, I mean, I think Chespin, when he first starts out, I even he looks pretty good though. I don't know. But I mean, what do you see when he looks like Chestnut? Can you tell me what you think? I mean, he might look better, but it's really just an opinion. But I suppose once we get into Larvitar Day, I'll maybe give you a couple tips on how to clear your day faster. The thing is, in most of these community days, every task they give you tends to be repeated in the next community day. They don't really change it up much, but here's our scoreboard, as you can see, Gemma won that by one, yeah, one, 
So we're back. Right, Larvitar date. Now I'll suggest this to you when it comes to doing your tasks. Clear your tasks as fast as you can and concentrate the remaining time of your community day just doing catches. Doesn't even have to be shinies, just keep catching. Doesn't matter what it is, just catch it. You can always let it go. Or if you've got a friend, you can trade back and forward. Maybe you'll get a lucky one that's better. You might get a hundo that way. You can only trade maybe one shiny a day, two on certain occasions. So, I mean, how many shinies do you really need by the end of a community day? There's a real question for you. How many shinies satisfies your need? I mean, we're clearing 20 roughly every community day. To me, it's almost too much because you don't have enough time to trade them all before the next community day because you're also trading legendaries if you're raiding now you're like, whoa while we're here see that task there at the top power up pokemon 10 times easy way to get rid of it cheapest way to get rid of it is find your lowest cp guy and just clear it just like this ev just hit the button 10 times get rid i mean you're sacrificing what that was four thousand stardust you'll make that up in the day you're not gonna miss it you know, it, you won't miss that at all. As for the rest of the tasks, I mean, most of them just come naturally, make throws, catch 15 or whatever. I mean, that kind of stuff's normal. But there was one where you got to transfer 10 Pokemon. And the easiest way, if you haven't done it already, is the day before Community Day, or a couple hours before Community Day, just catch anything. Doesn't matter what they are, doesn't matter what star rating they are, just hold on to them, put them in a tag that says transfer, and then when you get to that task, you can just two clicks and you're done. You can clear it and you're on to the next thing. The whole point in this day is mainly catching. You've got three hours to do it. To be honest, you've got five, but I don't. Th they usually do this thing for the last two hours where they give you a blue egg. And if you defeat whatever raid it is, then in the area, more of the Pokemon will show up for the community. I've never met anyone yet who actually likes doing them or even does them. <laughs> like most people just do the three hours and go home because it's a total waste of time. You know? But like I said, I think we're actually going to see one of these uh, tasks popping up. There you go. Middle one. Transfer 10. This is how I did it. I've already got them. You just pick 10. Boom. Gone. Okay, that was 9 because one of them was favourited by accident. There you go, 10. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's it. It's out the way. I don't even have to think about that task anymore. The rest of it is catching. And the rest of it is... I mean, you should be throwing pin apps at pretty much everything. Get as much candy as you can. Because while they're here, you'd be as well. I mean, if you're over the level of 40 and you're collecting XL candy, get in there, start catching more. Get that XL candy up to about 300, you know you've done your day right. At least you can get one maxed out if you want to max them out. Um, but, I mean, there's not much more tri trips, tricks and tips to give you, you know? Um... Keep a high candy count, keep some Pokemon for transferring quickly, and keep a low CP one for powering up. Thing is, I can guarantee in the next one, which I believe is Noibat for February, these tasks will come up again. If I'm right, I'll tell you in the next video that that is what it is. But I think last year I covered almost almost every single community day is non commentary and by the end of it I think we, well we skipped out December it was a bit of a waste of time it was just like a re-roll of everything that had gone on through the year um, and we never bothered with it I also didn't cover the something extraordinary ticket which is more like the something expensive ticket because it was like crazy amount just to get, what was it, Kaleido? 
the legendary horse, which basically looks like Ponyta, but not Ponyta. <laughs> if you remember the film Hook, Rufio, yeah, it's like Ponyta and Rufio have been combined together uh, to give Kelly do. <laughs> I wonder if that's a, I wonder if that's what actually happened, but it's it's it was poor, very poor. Like uh, it's like seven, eight pound. Don't know how much it is in dollars, but seven or eight pounds quite a lot for a few tasks and a mythical that you can't even trade to reroll the stats. It's a bit much for my blood, like a bit too expensive, um, and. I didn't really feel like covering it once I heard about it all and I'm hoping this year they're not going to keep that kind of price rise up. I mean it was just before Christmas, you've got to wonder if they did that just to pay for their Christmas party or something their staff do in Niantic because it was ridiculous how much it cost, absolutely ridiculous. So this February we've got the Neubat at the start and more people are probably interested in the Glen Primal event nearer the end, which is the Hoenn tour. Um, you probably want to get that Groudon or that Ky Kyogre, or, that's probably what you're aiming for and I can tell you now, Primal Energy is only going to come from doing raids if you're a ticket holder and it works the exact same way it works with Mega Evolution. You'll just get it and you can click, boom, it's done. And that'll last so many hours and then it ends. It's the same as, it's basically Mega Evolution but it's given the primal name instead. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, over the course of this video, I mean, you basically see here that Tyran oh, Tyranitar was pretty cool, but I have to say, shiny wise, he looks a bit crap. He's not the most colourful, which is kind of disappointing, but it's like just one of these things. Took me ages to find a shiny one though. I mean, we were almost an hour in before I actually found a, a shiny. And it's not on really. I would have thought I would have had more, but it's just not how the day went. I will be ending this video with a bit of a rare one. Uh, me and Agent S. J. Smith, we went lucky friends over Christmas and he picked out, personally, Kyogre for a trade. So I met up with him during the Larvitar community day and I've included the video at the end of this video. There's our shiny look, nice pink belly. PINK BELLY! <laughs> and that's about as colourful as he got, which is kind of unfortunate. You know, um, so I'll show you that video at the end. I'll, I'll just, well, the evolution of the shiny is about to come up, so I'll just disappear for that again. So here's the two, and I have to say, Larvitar in his form that he's in, I'd say it's probably the most colourful. I think they could have went with a different colour than the darker green. Popitar, again, they could have picked a different colour, he's just a darker shade really, there's nothing too impressive about it, but you know, some of these shinies do get that way and you find that most of them turn out to be green anyway. Tyranitar, unfortunately, is a bit of a letdown. You know, it almost looks like the difference between mushy peas and garden peas. <laughs> if you had to put them side by side. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a light there. Oh, here's our scoreboard again. And as you can see, number of shinies, I win this time. And she caught over 400. Which is impressive. Really impressive for three hours. But I'll let you see the shiny... Uh, the, I'll let you see the lucky trade and after that we'll have a quick talk.
Thank you. Seems it. Can't, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't show it very well. Two three one five two three one five. Yeah, <laughs> well, I've never seen that before. Eh? Nice one. Oh, thank you very much. Until the next one. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you very much. So that's it for January, and I hope that this new idea that I've had, this new layout or this new commentary that we're adding in now, uh, I hope I did okay. I like to talk to you. To be honest, a bit more feedback is always good, so do feel free to comment. Uh, I want to know about, I mean, let me know. How did your community days go? Did How many did you catch? How many shinies did you catch? Do you like the shiny? Do you think it could be a better colour? Uh, and do you think, what do you think of our lucky trade? Do you think that went well? I think the stats could have maybe been a little bit better. Um, but the fact they came out identical is kind of weird. I haven't had that happen before, but there we go. Uh, so let me know your thoughts on the new version of these videos for me. Um, let me know about your community days. Let me know about the shinies, what you think. Tell me, tell me, tell me. And we'll catch it in the next one, which, like I said, just now, but I'd like to get a little community going. I know that some of you, the locals watch, but sometimes they don't comment. Um, I do get a few likes from you guys, which is really good because it picks up on the old YouTube algorithm. Um, and I'm overly impressed by the fact I've got over 100 subscribers over Christmas. So thank you very much. If you enjoy the content I'm putting out and you're watching maybe my other gaming videos, give them a a comment and whatnot as well and we'll see you in the next one until then see you later thanks for watching